Since its reincorporation as a first-class city in 1958, the city of Richland has always been a place that provides first-class quality of life amenities to its residents. In the 1940s, a senior center and a community center were built to provide recreational activities to the hard-working men and women of the Hanford era. But as time marched on, the facilities became antiquated and no longer met the needs of the community. A new community center and senior center was needed, but agreeing on a location and price would take years of planning and hard work. In April of 1992, voters turned down a $12.5 million bond package for the construction of a community house, senior center, and sports complex. In November of 1996, a bond measure for a new senior center was voted down, but in doing so, some valuable information was gained by the Seniors Association. They learned that while residents would not support a senior center, they would support a community center. We struggled a little bit with it because we really wanted a senior center and then said, hey, if we want a building, we're going to have to uh, address it in the way the community wants. And uh, of course, because the, the original bond didn't pass, we knew that the community wanted something different. So we, you know, kind of turned our focus and went to a community center. The Richland Seniors Association led the charge to design a bond measure for a facility that would bring together youngsters, teenagers, young adults, and seniors in healthy recreational activities. A place that would represent a coming together of all generations and offer new and expanded programs, events, and activities for all ages. The Senior Association created the theme, A Place for All Ages, to fuel their bond campaign. On May 18, 1999, Richland voters approved a $3.95 million bond measure to build a new state-of-the-art community center at beautiful Howard Amon Park. After years of hard work, the city and its residents finally had the facility they dreamed of. This pride in the facility was shown at a ribbon-cutting ceremony like none other. The paper, newspaper reported that there were about 600 people at the ribbon-cutting and uh, we had so much fun. Ten years later, the community center is providing for the needs of the community just as was intended over a decade ago. The 21,000 square foot facility features a great room, fitness area, kitchen, craft room, computer lab, and more. The center is also home to the Parks and Recreation Department. The symbiotic relationship shared by park staff and center provide the ideal environment for brainstorming program ideas and keeping up with the wants and needs of the community. It's ever evolving because, you know, what people enjoy doing changes so much. And, uh, you know, probably 10 years ago we maybe had one or two yoga classes, now we have 11. So, and now it's, you know, we're starting to do some other things. But it's, it's always changing and it never sits static. We're constantly exploring new ideas and trying to come up with ways to make the center operate uh, better and also to better serve the public with new programs that uh, you know the people want to want to attend and come and enjoy. I don't think that'll ever change. Mm -hmm.